It's been 21 years since we were first treated to a big screen adaptation of J.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, the film series beloved by fans all over around the world. And now the ring is being passed to, so to speak, to a new group of characters for Amazon's highly anticipated series, The Rings of Power. A wine author and Sophia Nomvetti star as the prince and princess of the dwarven kingdom whose love was meant to be. Take a look. Took weeks before he worked up the courage to court me proper. Two weeks at most. It was five. <laughs> You're lying. She's lying. She may play coy now, but she was a moon-eyed girl in love from the moment we met. <laughs> <laughs> a very happy match. A wine and Sophia, good morning. Guys, I, I know we were going to start somewhere else. I have to start with the makeup. Uh-huh. That is incredible. That, that was you we were just watching, both of you. Exactly. Yeah. How, <laughs> how long did that take? Do you know what? It took three hours. Yeah, every, three uh, hours. Three hours every day, yeah. Uh, we had a prosthetic nose. We had the big beard and the wig. And the eyes and, and everything. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was, it was a process um, to get there, but a really great process with an incredible, incredible team of people. So, so, so talk to us about the series. I know it's not a quote-unquote prequel, but yeah. it takes place before Lord of the Rings. That's it, yeah. We're in the second age this time, whereas the um, uh, the movies that you saw were, were, was the third age. So it's kind of... Uh, it, it starts it starts from the beginning really yeah. and um you'll see us in uh, in a place called Khazad Doom where it's absolutely thriving yeah and talk to me about your chemistry because i love this you guys are, are <laughs> arm in arm you you play that you're married on this show but you guys clearly like each other's company. What was it like shooting in New Zealand? What was it like doing the show? Oh, it's incredible. Look, New Zealand as a country is the most vibrant, spirited, warm place to be on this mm. earth. So we're better than to film such a um, heartfelt, powerful story with that kind of surrounding. So um, it was really beautiful. And we spent a ton of time together. And yeah. when we first met, we kind of locked eyes in a, in a, in a lift, me holding my, my baby and thought, this is going to be all right. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Talk to us about the baby, because I, I can't believe this. I heard you delivered a few days before you auditioned, yeah. or a few days after, I should say, after you auditioned. You know what? And she kind of held out for me a little longer as well. So I was like, thank you, thank you, Dawson. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, it was about this opportunity that I couldn't miss. And who's to say that us mothers can't kind of take two huge life-changing journeys at the same time, right? There you go, that's So a great. few days before, you know, Jay and Biona kind of honking me out of the chair for auditions and stuff, <laughs> and like, me wanting a rat, I can't wait to see the uh, self-tapes for that. But we went on a journey, we went on a journey, and I was able to start two parallel um, incredible moments moments of my entire life together with the incredible support of, of my friends and, and family and and of course Amazon who were like you got this what do you need guys talk to me about the pressure and I say pressure because some people are talking about this being the most expensive television show ever we're talking about possibly a billion dollars over all the seasons they want to run so when you think about that it's in your hands what goes through your head yeah well I suppose what that means is that we get the best people for every job and, and creatively speaking, that so that frees you up, and 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 the, the focus and the love and the care that uh, was involved to to create this was was special and kind of sprinkled a bit of magic dust, I think, on the show. It was incredible. Sophia, if if you're not a fan of the Lord of the Rings, say you, you never read the books or, or watched the movies, can you still enjoy this one? I mean, this is such a great place to start. You do not have to know anything about anything. And and because, of course, we're 2,000 years pre, it means that we're kind of starting from the beginning. So actually, it could be quite fun to do this and then go move forward, go back to the books. Like, it is a wonderful, wonderful place to start. And you're not missing anything if you've not touched on it before. And we're welcoming mm. new fans and exciting people to, uh, to, to come on this journey with us. So you guys are at the beginning of what could be one of the biggest television shows ever. Sophia, I want to show a moment that happened to you that, that when I saw this photo, it's like, we have to do this. Talk me through this moment right here, moment by moment. Okay. This is my first time to New York. In fact... Ever? Ever. Okay. In fact, and I, I've spent um, many, many years of my entire career in, in theatre. So can you imagine that I step off of a plane for my first time in New York and I'm on a billboard on Broadway? I, like, I lost it. I was completely shaking. It is, um, 
it's it's a gift. It's it's a gift, and I yeah, it's it was an incredible, incredible, exciting. New moment. baby, new show, new friends. We've what got what it. a moment, <laughs> guys! Moment blessed. blessed, yeah, definitely. Guys, thank you so much for for coming here on the Today Show. We really do appreciate it. We Pleasure. look so forward to that show as well. A reminder: Lord of the Rings: The Rings of Power premieres on Prime Video in September. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.